there, this is John from Get Lead Forms. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Active Prospect Trusted Form within your lead form so you can easily capture, certify, and document your lead's consent to be contacted by you, which is really important for TCPA compliance. And I'll show you how to do this in just a few simple steps. So first, let's talk about consent. Now, you probably already know that you should have consent before you contact a prospect, whether that's through an automated dialing system, SMS marketing, or email marketing. This is especially true when it comes to TCPA compliance, even for inbound leads. Now, most marketers and business owners are okay at documenting very basic consent in their lead form. Typically, near the submit button, you'll see it in the form of a, a little blurb that says something like, I agree to be contacted by company for sales and marketing reasons, something like that. Do not take that word for word. That's not the best way to say that. And we'll have another blog post coming out soon about how exactly you should say that. But that's just one side of the equation. When it comes to TCPA, there's a whole other side to this. And this is documenting consent through the form of a digital certificate that looks something like this. Now, in many cases, lead buyers or certain types of clients will require this digital certificate to be generated with the lead. And they may even tell you to go and use something like Active Prospect Trusted Form. So this is where Active Prospect Trusted Form comes into play. Active Prospect has a product called Trusted Form, which essentially automatically generates this digital certificate for you, as long as you have their JavaScript SDK on your lead form or your landing page. So the way that this works here is, when a prospect hits your page and loads your form, the Active Prospect Trusted Form SDK will automatically generate a unique certificate for that prospect. And when the prospect submits your form, the certificate is created and then it can be sent through into your CRM and your various systems. And this certificate can then be stored and associated with the lead for many years to come which can be really helpful if a lead comes back like three years later and files some sort of litigation suit against you. So what does this certificate include? Well, it includes information such as a timestamp for when the lead submitted, the prospect submitted the form, time on page, IP address, geolocation, operating system, and even a session replay. So you can probably see that this is a much more advanced form of documenting and capturing consent and again, this can be stored for many, many years to come if you push it into your CRM. So when it comes to Active Prospect Trusted Form, it can be a little bit confusing about how to actually integrate this into your landing page or lead form and that capture that certificate. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to go about this. So I'm inside of my lead form now, and this is a lead form that I have set up for the solar industry. Now to integrate the lead form with Active Prospect Trusted Form is just a few simple steps. First, you'll need to have your Active Prospect Trusted Form account. And Active Prospect has a free plan to help you get started. Now, depending on when you're reading this, you may already have an Active Prospect Trusted Form account. If that's the case, just jump on into your account and go down to this section here called JavaScript Snippet. You will need to copy your JavaScript Snippet and paste it into your lead form. So just click on the Copy button here, and we're gonna jump back into the lead form and go to publish, go to install custom code and paste your JavaScript right in this section. Now this script does not need to be added to the landing page, only the lead form. Remove the comments and make sure that you paste this in the head section, not the body section. Click save. Now behind the scenes, we have an integration with Active Prospect and some magic happens. All you need to do is add this JavaScript. From here, there's just one more step. We need to create a hidden field to capture the unique certificate value that is created when the form is loaded. So to do that, go to a contact form type of step in your lead form. In this case, we'll just go to the actual contact form step. Click add field. For field type, choose hard-coded, choose hidden hard-coded field, leave the value blank, field name could be whatever you want it to be. In this case, we'll just call it uh, trusted form 
insert for the label paste this in xx trusted form cert url click save here and you'll see that the hidden field is created you will not see it here inside of your lead form because it's a hidden field but it's right here if you need to change something just click on the pencil to open the field back up and here it is again again it doesn't matter what you name the field but the field label must be xx trusted form cert exactly like this and for context if we go to publish you'll see we're just taking it right from here so this is where the certificate url is created when the page loads or when the form loads so what what's happening here is the hidden field is just going to grab this value right here which is going to be the link to the unique certificate that's generated upon submission of the lead form. So then the next thing to do is add this lead form to an actual live page and send a test lead through. Now, when you send a test lead through, you will be able to find the lead in your lead details section. So if I go back to this blog post, you'll see if you go to lead details, which can be found if we leave this form, it can be found on your main lead page right over here now i don't have leads because this form's not live but all of your leads would populate and then you could click into your lead and actually see the trusted form certificate generated right in here you could copy the link and paste it into your browser and you should see something that looks like this with all of the data associated such as timestamp and session replay and then in addition you can also push the certificate into your crm so you can store it and associate it to the lead. So in conclusion, that is how you go about setting up Active Prospect Trusted Form in your lead form. As a quick summary, it's just a matter of signing up for Active Prospect, getting your Trusted Form script, going to Publish, include custom code, paste it into the head section, remove the comments, then go to your contact step or a form type step, create a hidden field, a hidden hard-coded field, and add the following value xx trusted form cert url click save test the live form on your page and you should see the unique certificate generated for each lead hope that helps if you have any questions feel free to reach out thank you